Is that apple of Sodom? I'm not sure. Sodom, if you like. You can see it's got prickles on its leaves. I thought I'd put up some high definition pictures of this plant. I've done it before in low definition, but I rather like it. It's very beautiful. Lovely weed, isn't it? Beautiful weed. And lots of them growing in this garden. Lots of them. Lots of them growing all over the lawn. Not that we ever mow our lawn, do we? You know. We're not that sort of people. Most people mow their lawn, of course. We're not most people. Are they apple of Sodom? If you know, tell me. This camera can see better from far away than it can see close up. Really, it can. Anyway, this is from a distance. But let's have a look from far away. I mean, what I mean is from a distance. So, that's our little apple of Sodom. So beautiful. It's as pretty as a violet. You must admit, it's as pretty as a violet. It's got five stuck points on it. So it's a member of the tomato family, potato family, the nightshade family, isn't it? And it's probably toxic. If it's apple of Sodom, it is poison, isn't it? That's why it's given such a wicked name. There's another in the afternoon sun. Isn't it wonderful? It's Sunday afternoon here down under and I'm just looking at the beautiful apple of Sodom's, Sodom. They do have fruits on them that look a bit like a tomato. Of course, I think they've been called, what have they been called? Devil's apples or something? I'm not sure. What a lovely Sunday afternoon it is. Nothing to do but to look at the apple of Sodom. It's got two, four, are they called anthers, those yellow things? Very pretty anyway, isn't it? See ya.